Hi, welcome to Meet Your Neighbor, a program of HCAM TV. My name is Cheryl Peralt and I'm the host and today we are here at Lake Whitehall and it's a very beautiful day here in Hopkinton and I'm here to interview Leah Rizinski. Hi Leah, welcome to Meet Your Neighbor, an interview that we do here in Hopkinton with uh, the people who live around town. I'm glad that you could join us today. Um, and I know you uh, suggested meeting here at Lake Whitehall on this yeah. beautiful June day, and <laughs> it, it is gorgeous. I'm glad for that. I was wondering if uh, we could start by telling me uh, your connection with Lake Whitehall, why you recommended here versus, uh, you know, the theater or HCAM studio. Well, um, I just have a lot of good memories here, you know. Mm -hmm. I have a lot, lots of friends who live over here, so. I've spent a lot of time in and around Lake Whitehall on the water, mm -hmm. uh, canoeing and fishing when I was younger. I don't really fish anymore because I, <laughs> I'm a vegetarian mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I don't like to stab fish in the mouth. Mm -hmm. But if you do, that's okay. <laughs> um, but uh, just a lot of good memories. I've done the Whitehall cleanup. My mm -hmm. best friend lives right on the lake. so mm -hmm. And I just think it's a beautiful place and mm -hmm. a great place to have in town. You're right, it is beautiful. I'm glad we're outside here interviewing today, so yeah. thank you for that. Uh, how long have you lived here in Hopkinton? All my life. Uh -huh. Yeah. How many years is that about now? Fifteen. Fifteen years here. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, and uh, so you uh, went to the Hopkinton schools all, all your years as well? Yeah. I know you were recommended um, by someone over at the high school for this interview. Um, and it sounds like you're involved with a lot of interesting things in and out of school. Um, so I wonder what you've been doing um, besides studying hard at school. <laughs> now you're on break, but yeah. what do you do in your spare time when you're not studying at school? Well, um, I'm in the drama club. I was in the musical and I helped out on the play and I was in the one act festival. And um, that's just been something I've been doing my whole life. And so uh, that's a big chunk of my time I spent mm -hmm. with the drama club. Met a lot of good friends there too. Um, I'm not in a lot of clubs at school because I had to, you know, cut back, prioritize this year. Mm -hmm. um, but one of my other favorite things is philosophy club. Mm -hmm. Meets every Friday in Mr. Sullivan, one of the uh, psych teachers rooms. And it's just a really great place because they could talk about so many things, have such wonderful conversation with all sorts of people at school. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do, that's what I've been doing on Fridays. Mm -hmm. And um, then I have some friends who make films, and so I was in one of the senior project films mm -hmm. this year, which is a great experience, and I can't wait till I can start making my own. Mm -hmm. That'll be really fun, cool. When will you do that? Um, well, hopefully I'll get into, uh, there's a film and TV elective, mm -hmm. um, so hopefully I'll get into that. Mm -hmm. But I just spend a lot of time just hanging out in the film room. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you have an idea what kind of a film you'd like to make when it comes your turn? I really don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I just, whatever comes to me. Mm -hmm. I, I like um, watching documentaries, but mm -hmm. really any kind of film, if I have an idea, I'll mm -hmm. go with it. Mm -hmm. I know uh, that you were quite famous when To Kill a Mockingbird was <laughs> in town, that you did a wonderful job there. That was back in middle school. <laughs> yeah, it was seventh grade. Ah, and you're still ago. performing over at the high school in theater as yeah. well. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's that was great. Fun. That was probably my favorite role. It was. But, uh -huh. yeah, it's kind of cool that people will still be like, hey, you're uh -huh. a scout. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Uh, and so you've also found music, or has music been with you ever since uh, the start, of when you were little? Yeah, I was. I started in um, my church choir when I was two years old. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. What did you do then? Um, well, basically, I think you had to be maybe five to join, but my brother was in it, and I'd come to all the, the rehearsals, and mm. I learned the songs, and so wow. the director's just like, ah, you can join. Uh-huh. <laughs> So you sang. So I did that. Uh huh. <laughs> and then when I was in second grade, they also have a handbell choir. Do you know what handbells are? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah? Well, if anyone doesn't know, that's a good like, idea. Um, 
Let's see. They were first developed um, for people who rung big church bells to practice. And so they're small and they have handles and each bell is a note. And um, you have a choir and each person has a couple bells. You can play up. You know, one person can play a bunch of bells, but normally you have between two and maybe six. And everyone plays together and makes a song. And it's one of my favorite things mm. to do, so I've been doing it for a long time. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, what I do on Tuesday nights. <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. You can play all sorts of songs. Mm -hmm. And you're still in the choir as well? Uh, oh, which the, choir? The singing choir. Oh, you know, not really. Not really, Because okay. they, they don't really have a, a teen choir. I sing, I sing at church, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I sang yesterday. My and you sing other places out in the world, yeah. I know. Yeah, uh, open mics and stuff. You've been, That's uh, been a good experience. Mm -hmm. um, I found some. I, yeah, it's, it's been good um, for getting used to you know, performing. Mm -hmm. um, just myself and my guitar in front of, I mean, I've, I perform in front of people I don't know mm -hmm. many of times, but it's a, it's a different kind of thing, you know, mm -hmm. performing my own stuff, my mm -hmm. own music. When did you start performing your music? Well, last year is when I started writing songs. Mm -hmm. um, but I did my first open mic this year, mm -hmm. and but I feel and I feel like I've been doing it forever. It's just it's it's um, actually the first time I performed just me and my guitar was at uh, a school event. Um, there's a club called Be Free, mm -hmm. and yeah. they host events. One of them being. Uh, coffee houses and like other performances like that mm -hmm. and so I performed in the winter time or fall and I it was so much fun wow that's great. I just loved it it's probably my favorite way to perform because I it's just something really comfortable about it mm -hmm. um, in the just, coffee house kind of yeah, setting I could just mm -hmm. like be myself and mm. play my music and it's good uh-huh you think that's a good thing to have going on definitely. regularly around here yeah definitely uh -huh. I think the ESL open mic is a really great thing but mm -hmm. I've found them that they, they have open mics like every every night of the week mm -hmm. all over the place that's true yeah you can find them mm -hmm. well it's great you keep going out there and sharing your songs I was wondering if you could share one with us now sure okay. um, so I have a couple songs I have I have Lots of songs that I've written, but this one I like to play my harmonica. <laughs> I think I think these things are great. I actually got this harmonica holder for my birthday this year. So I know so you self fun. you taught yourself guitar, right? <laughs> well, um, yeah, to a certain point. Uh -huh. I taught myself up until this year. Mm -hmm. I taught myself chords and like the notes and. The basics, and then I got a teacher to teach me more uh -huh. refined skills. Ah, who's teaching you? Um, guy's name is Bill Bloom. Uh, mm, nice name. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> uh, he has a music teaching business. Uh -huh. Great. How about harmonica? Uh, harmonica? Oh, well, it's pretty easy. You just kind of blow. You just learned it. yourself. Well, I well, it's it's in the key of C. So uh -huh. as long as I play anything in the key of C. It'll sound nice. All right. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a really, uh, I'm not a professional harmonica player. Uh -huh. I just kind of, you know, go for work it. Work with it. <laughs> so look forward to hearing it. This is a song I wrote oh, quite quite some time ago, and uh, it's called "Blame It on the Weather." Here it goes.
Wow. There we go. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was really oh. wonderful. That's my uh, first, record first, of having a song uh -huh. sung <laughs> in my presence oh. of audience of one. That was really a treat. Thank you. And uh, beautiful words, meaningful words, and uh, guitar and harmonica all together. I'm really. working on it. <laughs> wow. And uh, also I noticed in your uh, singing, uh, I've uh, commented to you before a little of the sound of Indian music in there, uh, <laughs> yeah. which makes me want to uh, go over and talk about your trip to India. Uh, you were in the newspaper a while back being interviewed about that trip, and it was a, it was a big deal uh, for others to hear about, and it certainly sounded like for you, and I was wondering if we could talk a few minutes about that. That happened this past year? Yeah, um, in the winter, uh -huh. uh, over New Year's. Uh -huh. For about two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. Yeah. And, um, so what spurred that trip over to India so well, far away? Um, well, actually, it's kind of an interesting story. Um, I'd always wanted to go to India, you know. Mm. And so I had made a comment to my other mother's cousin, another, a different cousin. Um, she is a uh, United Methodist pastor. And um, I had seen her at a family gathering, and my brother was going to be going to Peru with a school trip. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess I don't remember saying this. I'm like, oh, Evan gets to go to Peru, and um, I'm just going to DC with my school <laughs> trip. And you know, I had always wanted to travel. I hadn't really been anywhere too far, but I just felt that it was something that I loved to do. Mm -hmm. And so one day I just get an email and um, about this trip, and it's called the Mission of Peace. And it's through um, the Greater United Methodist Church, mm -hmm. um, and they were going to India. I was like, "Whoa, that's mm -hmm. awesome!" I always uh -huh. wanted to go there, but I, you know, I didn't really want to go with my parents, or I, mm -hmm. I wanted to go when I could experience it by myself, have freedom, you know. Mm -hmm. And it just looked like the perfect opportunity because it's like it's kind of if you've heard of the organization, an organization people to people, it's kind of mm -hmm. like that. It's mm -hmm. a trip. Um, you go try to see the country as a whole try to understand and like we didn't really do touristy things you know mm -hmm. we had lots of connections because they have been they gone the trip goes to a different country every year but it's been going on since 1984 mm -hmm. and they have been to India five times and um, there's a district uh, there's a, a bishop from New Jersey who grew up there um, and mm -hmm. he had all, all sorts of friends and um, so we just got to meet so many people and experience so many wonderful things. And one of the um, main uh, purpose of the mm -hmm. trip is to actually educate people when you come back. Uh -huh. So um, okay. I had to raise um, $5,000 to mm -hmm. go. So one of the ways I did that is I had um, different groups of people in churches in New England sponsor me. and. Mm -hmm. um, so I came back and I did presentations about my trip. Uh -huh. And it's just basically to raise awareness and um, mm -hmm. try to get rid of stereotypes and, and make global citizens of you mm -hmm. know, young people. Mm -hmm. so. so what has been maybe one primary point that you've brought back in your presentations from that trip? For people to be aware of here in right. Hopkinton, in the, you know, greater, in the country. Um, well, I've you know, kind of struggled a lot with this, trying to make presentations and, you know, um, verbalize what I've uh, seen. Mm -hmm. And, um, but it's just, it's such a complex place. And, you know, it's a, it's a lot like America in the fact that it's like a melting pot. There's mm -hmm. so many different groups of people and um, so many different walks of life. And, I mean, it's, to me, I think it's a beautiful place, you know. Mm -hmm. So many things are decorated, like from cars and houses and people and animals, and mm -hmm. it's just so full of life. Mm -hmm. So many people, and it's, yeah. Did you get to hear a lot of people's stories, life stories over there? Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. There's, I mean, people, we stay with people just like us, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. um, we stay with some families, like the mother and father owned a, um, pharmaceutical business and they had kids our age and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they basically had um, a similar life and then met people with completely different lives you know mm -hmm. like um, we spent some time at orphanages mm -hmm. and places like that and and then people with there's Christians and Hindus and mm -hmm. Muslims and Sikhs and 
and all different kinds of people and uh, Buddhists and we got to see some different religious places mm -hmm. like that and it was just really eye-opening. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Did you get to more rural parts also? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Definitely. I think it was, it was a really um, it was a really great trip because we did get to see, you know, try and see all different walks of life, like not mm -hmm. just one part of India, mm -hmm. but I mean, we were in the heart of the city and then we were in the desert and we were in the jungle and mm -hmm. we were wow. all over the place. Mm -hmm. That but, sounds like quite a yeah. big trip. Um, you covered a lot of ground, mm -hmm. literally and literally, not definitely. literally. Uh, long bus rides and things. Oh, and wow. Like, uh, we were in, uh, from the most rural village to the heart of the city, mm -hmm. you know, we even, mm -hmm. the first, the second day we were there, we went to the Jarabi slums, which um, is where Slum Dog Millionaire was actually uh, filmed. Okay. Uh -huh. And we met people there, and we were like children and, and people, and you know, it's such a complex thing, um, the atmosphere, uh, I guess it's not really how Slumdog Millionaire portrayed it, mm -hmm. I mean, of what we saw, you know, and the scenes from the beginning, from where the main character, I forget his name, and now I saw I it forgot his ago, name too. but um, <laughs> lived that was from when he was a child, so that was yeah. from 30 years ago, maybe mm -hmm. the 70s, and a lot has changed, and mm -hmm. I mean, of course it's not a, a good living condition, but many people want to stay there because it's their home mm -hmm. and they have like businesses, they have families, communities, and the government um, is building new apartment buildings. Mm -hmm. um, but there's all this, you know, dispute over being able to get a room because you have to have certain papers and it's, it's kind of a mess, but um, mm -hmm. when you just walk through the, the small little streets and there's children and there's all sorts of smells, you know, flowers and incense and food and smiles and so it's uh, yeah quite a contrast mm -hmm. and it's yeah. hard to make a judgment yeah. yeah I understand that you're interested in going back there uh, in your future you think anytime anytime, <laughs> anytime I get a uh -huh. chance yeah I, I really loved it uh-huh uh, and do you have uh, ideas related to future work there or? Oh, well, there's so much to do. Anything I can, really. Uh -huh, yeah. Anything. Mm -hmm. um, I have no preference. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, uh, that sounds like uh, such a special and uh, meaningful experience and trip, and it just sort of came on, into your path. Yeah. And, <laughs> the mission of Literally, peace yeah. over to India, so uh, that's wonderful. And, uh, um, and if you had one uh, thought or wish for the world, you know, what, do you have any opinion on what, how it could be a little bit of a better place? That's a really big question too. Right. Uh, maybe you cover these in philosophy clubs sometimes, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, personally, mm. I think that violence mm. is frankly stupid mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean I just I understand people are always gonna have disagre disagreements and um, disputes and people are always gonna get angry at each other you can't really stop that because you know we're, we all think differently but to to use violence is just it's never helped anything yeah. you know mm -hmm. solving problems yeah, yeah. thank you um, I think uh, that is also a really important response. And how about closer to home? What are you going to do this summer? Oh my God, do it's this summer, summer vacation time. Um, hmm. um, you know, uh, spend time with my friends. Yeah. Um, gonna. I have some tentative plans. Uh, in the Cape, maybe North Shore, New York City. Mm. Uh, my friend. Um, and then the big thing is a couple of my friends uh, who I went to India with and the leaders they go to a monastery commune kind of place oh, in yeah. central France every year uh -huh. so uh, I, I'm really excited for the opportunity to spend a week there you're going there to yeah. France yeah wow <laughs> yeah, that'll be exciting uh-huh it's um it's a really really cool place uh, yeah. I really don't know a lot about it just from a book I have and mm -hmm. the, the, or the internet um, <laughs> So we'll see how that goes, but it mm -hmm. seems really cool because people, um, young people from all over the world come there to, you know, 
Is it a um, piece and related to Thich Nhat Hanh? Do you know the monk? Huh. N you know, I don't think he's been there. He very um, well could have, uh -huh. but oh, I know who well. you're talking about. Uh -huh. yeah. To be in France and to be in that community mm -hmm. sounds like a really great experience to look Definitely. forward to. One more thing to ask you, and if you could okay. just uh, help us uh, send us off with a song, one more of your okay. beautiful songs. Thank you <laughs> so right. much for no this problem. interview today. <laughs> that was wonderful, thank you.